I would like to uh, warmly uh, greet everybody, our uh, colleagues present as professors from different states uh, of, uh, of Europe, uh, because the today, uh, today task of us is uh, to put the 800 years uh, golden bull of, of King uh, Andrew II in international uh, context, which were the uh, similar legal documents which shaped uh, the royal power and also uh, which were the effects of uh, these uh, legal documents on uh, later development of uh, constitutionalism. I would like, uh, first of all, to give the floor to uh, Professor Janos Edesiladi, uh, Director of the Ferenc Madli Institute of Comparative Law, to have an introductory speech. Thank you so much. Give the floor and give the screen as well. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear colleagues, on behalf of the Ferenc Madli Institute of Comparative uh, Law, I warmly welcome uh, the participants of the conference entitled Eight Hundred Years of the Hungarian Golden Bull, the Golden Bull in the International Context, here in the illustrious lecture hall of the Hungarian Academy of Science. I would like to express my gratitude uh, to the contributors of the conference, namely to the presenters, uh, arrived all around uh, of the world, and who honor us uh, with their presentation. To the supporting partners, uh, particularly uh, to the, uh, from the University of uh, uh, Szeged, especially to Professor Elamir Balog and uh, uh, his colleagues, uh, and to the distinguished audience. Uh, last but not least, I would like to uh, express my sincere gratitude uh, to my colleagues from the Ferenc Magyar Institute, including uh, Professor Emőd Veres, uh, Zoltán Fazakas, Balint Kovács, and Kábor Katuna. The Ferenc Madel Institute was established in 2019, uh, and uh, the task of uh, the Institute uh, primarily connected uh, to the lawmaking activity of the uh, government, uh, that is uh, the analysis uh, of law in force uh, here uh, in Europe. Besides this activity, the Institute pursues other uh, research as well. Since its formation, the Institute has been devoted to legal history, and this approach is also faithful to Ferenc Madel, the jurist, the professor, the university professor, and the later president of the Hungarian Republic. The first works of Ferenc Madel published during uh, the Soviet era were of a comparative uh, legal history nature. Our institute has just recently republished uh, his uh, first monograph. Mm -hmm. It is a monument uh, works of uh, 600 page uh, um, volume uh, about uh, the legal development uh, of uh, tort liability, and we are about to republish a similar uh, volume uh, written by him uh, about uh, the uh, legal development of private law. Anyway, it's worth noticing that the historical approach uh, is a characteristic feature uh, of the, was a characteristic feature of the uh, Hungarian uh, jurisprudence in the Soviet era. Namely, it was possible to describe and express ideas uh, in the historical robe that the regime of the Soviet era would not have tolerated in analyzing the law in force. Besides taking care of Madel heritage, uh, it's worth noticing that the Ferenc Madel Institute also uh, contribute to a project. Uh, this project this is a PhD project about the comparative law. Uh, and. Uh, in this PhD uh, project, uh, we established, uh, in cooperation with the Central European Academy, uh, a book series. This is an English language book series, uh, besides of our 
thank you so much, <laughs> our presenters, you can uh, see the first uh, volume of this series. And uh, the name, uh, the title, sorry, of this uh, first book was the Lectures on the East Central European Legal History. And now we are about to publish the second volume, uh, the development of Central European integration theories from certain Central European countries. I think that uh, this series is further proof of the serious and lasting commitment of our institute to the history of law. As to the garden ball, I would like to emphasize that anniversaries are excellent occasions to identify the values in the context of the development of law. The ideas of the garden ball represent such uh, value. The concepts of garden ball have had an impact over the centuries in Hungarian uh, history often taken out of their original context, interpreted for current situation, but always as a frequent point of reference and a living legal text. Even the Habsburg emperors for on oath of allegiance to the Golden Ball, however, in their royal commitments, they expressly disregarded the right of resistance included in the Golden Ball. Three weeks ago, we have organized a conference in Hungarian to analyze the survival and the development of the Golden Ball. The aim of today's event, today's conference, to assess the Golden Ball in an international context, that is, what similar legal documents existed, what conceptions modeled the relationship to the sovereign power, and finally, how and where the development started, which laid the foundations for the rule of law. Learning about the possible influence of the Hungarian Golden Bull and the political ideas that, uh, that uh, flowed through the uh, medieval Europe will also sharpen our understanding of our common history. That's why, once again, warmly welcome the participant of the present conference. I hope that uh, this event will be fruitful and useful uh, for all participants, and not only today, but it will serve as a kind of a beginning of a beautiful friendship, and will be strengthened into intense collaboration among our academic communities. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for joining us today to this extraordinary event, and I wish you a successful meeting.